Welcome. In this video, I will explain you the relation between the MOSFET symbols and its structures. So, we have the different type of MOSFET and what's the relation of the symbol with its structure. So, first let we, before going to the detail, first let we see the different type of uh, MOSFETs. In originally, the MOSFET looked like this. It has three pins and one is the body terminal. MOSFET has two major type enhancement type and depletion type further they have two types p channel and n channel and depletion also have p channel and n channel so let's go for the structure and the relation between the symbols so if we see the symbol you can see here some symbols if you see drain and source and this uh, body terminal they are shown separately here you can see one straight line here one straight line they all are shown separately and the arrow direction in some symbol is this side some is this side so what's the logic behind this so you you don't need to remember the symbols you need to understand the logic so let's go for the main logic what's the logic behind this so if i go for the first enhancement type this is the structure of enhancement type so in this here is the channel with blue color channel or n type and the body is with the green color that is p type so p type means this substrate or body has a majority carrier of holes and n type means this channel are have the majority carrier of electrons so this is the basic structure of enhancement type if we move further and we see the details uh, how its structure is look like uh, let's see so if we see like here this terminal is called body terminal so and these two terminals are drain drain and source terminal these two terminal are same the terminal which is connected to the body will call the source terminal. So between these two we have one dielectric material and above this dielectric material we have another terminal that is called gate. Totally there are four terminal you can see but the body terminal is connected to one channel. So this become one terminal. So finally this device is three terminal device. So in the basic structure you can see drain and source they are not connected to each other they are separate from each other so if we go and make the symbol so how symbol will look like so here is the drain uh, okay F first we go for if we show here here is the gate that you can see and we make the gate for the symbol and now we make the drain and here is the drain next is the substrate and here in the middle we draw the substrate and here is the source and source is connected to the body so we connect the source with the body and now the final thing we need to show the direction of arrow how the direction of arrow should look like so for the direction of arrow we can see this is the p type terminal and this is the n type terminal and in between is the depletion region so if we make the equivalent diode so the direction of diode will be like this this is the equivalent diode so this direction show the arrow direction here you can see this is the arrow direction so this now the symbol of enhancement type the channel is n so this is the symbol of enhancement type and n channel so this direction of arrow show the channel type so this side of diode is n type so the n channel if the diode direction is is opposite if you find the opposite direction n type symbol then the channel would be p type because that side of the diode is p type so what is the difference between enhancement type and depletion type depletion type the only difference is that the depletion type only have this channel you can see this channel between source and drain but enhancement type don't have the channel 
So why it called enhancement type when we apply the voltage at gate? These voltage enhance the channel between drain and source. So then current flow. If we don't apply any gate voltage, the current will not flow. So here that's why it's shown disconnected. So enhancement type is the normally open. So this symbol shows this MOSFET is normally open until you don't apply the gate voltage. There will not be any current flow. And the symbol of depletion type. If we go for the symbol of depletion type, depletion type already have the channel without applying the gate voltage. So then the drain and source are connected to each other. Here you uh, let me make it here. Now you can see the drain and source are now shown connected. It's mean there is a channel between drain and source. So this MOSFET is normally closed without applying any gate voltage. If you apply the voltage between drain and source, current will flow from drain to source. So here in this channel, you can apply the negative voltage at gate. So the negative voltage will remove the channel or will deplete the channel. That's why this MOSFET is called depletion type. So in the symbol, if here you find disconnected, so you can know that this MOSFET is enhancement type. We need to enhance the channel if we want the current flow. If it is connected, so you can understand this MOSFET is depletion type. And if the direction of arrow is this side, so it means the diode this side is N type. So the N channel, if you find the opposite direction, then you can say the channel is P type. So if you want to know the detailed description of enhancement type structure and how it works and how current flow between uh, drain to source and how looks like the curve of enhancement type and depletion type. So I will give the link in the description and uh, the video that explain the enhancement type and depletion type MOSFET in detail. So in this video that was all about the symbols. So if I show you here you can see all uh, enhancement type are disconnected shown disconnected shown disconnected. And depletion type are connected. Depletion type already contain the channel. And uh, if you make the diode and this side of diode is N type. So this is N channel. This side of diode is N type. This is N channel. So now here the direction of arrow is opposite. This shows basically the diode. This side of diode is P type and this side is P type. So this is P channel. This is P channel. So you don't need to remember the symbols. When you see the symbol you can understand this symbol belongs to which MOSFET. So this is normally open, normally open, this is normally closed, this is normally closed. So that was all about the symbols and their details. Thanks for watching.